does your Prusa Mark III's print bed end up looking like this while it's auto leveling all these little blobs? Well, mine did with some filaments, and it was always annoying to have to stand there and clean up after it, so you made sure that you got the print off well. Then the Prusa Mini arrived with a simple but neat trick. While leveling, it holds the hot end temperature at 170 degrees, so you don't get any of these blobs. And that was just awesome. I asked myself, why didn't the MK3 do this? It's just G-code. Waited for the next version of Prusa Slicer, nothing. And it still hasn't shown up in Prusa Slicer. I decided something had to be done. With little research on G-code, comparing the Mini Start G-code and several test runs, we've got it. Mark III G-Code that works similarly to the Prusa Mini. Let's go through what it does. The startup G-Code does everything the original Prusa startup G-Code does. Checks for firmware and other things. And then it sets the temperature to 170 degrees for the hot end and whatever bed temperature for the filament that you're using. With the heating done, the machine probes as normal, just like it always does. When we reach the end of our probing routine, it goes to the corner, lifts up five millimeters, and then it sets the temperature to whatever printing temperature you need for your material. Then with the heating done there, we start our print after a short pause to make sure the temperature is somewhat stabilized. Now that we've seen what it does, how can we make your Mark III do this? Well, first off guys, I'm just some random guy on the internet, so all this is at your own risk and you should check the G-code yourself to ensure it's safe for your printer. Got it? Good. Let's move on to the good stuff. If you're in a hurry and you already know how to change the start G-code and all that good stuff, there's a link down in the description to the startup G-code file. It's in text format, so you can just grab it and go. For everyone else, let's go through this step by step. The first thing to do is go to my Google Drive and grab the file. There's a direct link to the file. should come up and look something like this. And you can download the file with this little button over here if you'd like to and open it up in a text editor. But the easiest way to do this is just to highlight everything, hit Control C or Command C, whether you're on a Mac or Windows, pick the right one. And now let's open up Prusa Slicer. Inside Prusa Slicer, we're gonna go to the Printer Settings tab. If you're on Windows, same group of settings, it's just over to your left or to your right, I don't remember. And here, first we want to go up here in the corner, make sure we have original Prusa i3, MK3S, and MK3S Plus selected. If you click printer settings and your screen looks like this, you are in simple mode. It will not let us make the changes that we want to make in simple mode. We will have to go over here to the top right and click expert. And then we want to go to start G code. From Start Gco, we want to select everything and hit your delete key. Don't worry, we can't delete the system presets. It will not let us do that. It'll make us save a copy. You'll see here in just a minute. Now we can paste what we copied from my Google Drive right in here. And there it is. If you compare this to the stock Prusa startup, all we have added is the stuff I talked about whenever we were going through what it's going to do on startup where it goes to 170, it does the probing, goes to the corner, lifts itself up a little bit, heats up, and then goes on and prints. With that G-code in there, now we've got to save it as a new profile. You go up here to this little thing that to me looks like a floppy disk, but I've been told by my kids that it's the save button. They, maybe that just dates me, I'm not sure. But anyhow, I'm gonna hit the floppy disk it's going to bring up Save Printer Settings As, and see where it has this little copy thing? That's telling you that you cannot override the system presets. In fact, if you get rid of that, it won't even let you save it. 
So, right here, you've got to think up whatever your super awesome name is and leave those in the comments below because I have a hard time thinking up super awesome names for these things. And I end up with silly things like this. Original Prusa i3, MK3S, and MK3S Plus. Startup Mod. Uh, and we'll name this one 3 because I've already got a couple of different ways to start up the printer in my profiles. And then you just click OK. And guys, that is as hard as it gets. Whenever we get back here to the platter view, we can choose, see where I've got mod, mod 2, and mod 3. We can choose what we just made. We still have access to all of our filaments. Still have access to all of our uh, print settings that we had with the original one from Prusa. So, super easy. And now, a few warnings. This works on the Prusa Mark III and all of its variants from Prusa. It will not work on any other printers unless you have a dedicated Prusa clone, and then I would still be very careful. Prusa has code in their startup that is Prusa-specific and will confuse other printers and possibly make them do weird or dangerous things. So don't try this on any other brand or style of printer. Only for the Prusa Mark III, Mark IIIs, and Mark IIIs Plus. If you would like to download that file and figure out what I did and adapt it to your printer, that's great. But the file that I made is startup G code only for those Prusa printers from the Mark III line. You guys have a great day. Enjoy your blob-free printing, and I'll see you next time.